You know what I love? Dragon Ball Z. So I'm gonna cut to the chase and share with you guys some awesome Dragon Ball Z quotes. To be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of the Boo Saga, but I love this quote. You're missing the point. Huh? This is when Majin Buu was at his creepiest, most maniacal, and I absolutely love that. I just love the sound of his voice there for some reason. Most people who follow Dragon Ball Z would probably agree that future Gohan is an absolute badass. He's such a cool character, and it's really a shame that he didn't get a better send-off. But he did have an awesome quote before he died. Oh my gosh. You know you can't win. You can't destroy what I really am. Even if you manage to kill this body, someone even stronger would surface and take my place. Not one death will go unaccounted for. Not one! This is one of my favorite Piccolo quotes. Piccolo is such a fantastic character. His voice is so badass, especially when he delivers one of his best lines against Bobbity. Call your monster so we can watch you die. You know there has to be some cliche quotes that are going to make this list, and this one is just so epic. I remember being a little kid, and when Goku turned Super Saiyan for the first time, I had no idea what was going on. And he came off as such a heroic character when he uttered these lines to Frieza. I am the hope of the universe! I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace. I am protector of the innocent. I am the light in the darkness. I am truth. To good, nightmare to you. If I ever make a video on underutilized characters, Android 16 is totally gonna make the cut. He was such a solemn, caring character, so when he hits this line on Android 18, it comes out of nowhere. I will kill Cell. This world is a good place. Cell wishes to destroy it. I will not let that happen. <laughs> Huh? Sixteen! It's you! I don't believe it! How did you manage to get him off of me? I used one of my hard punches. This is another very popular but deserving quote. Love him or hate him, Vegeta has some of the most passionate lines of dialogue in the entire series. You may have invaded my mind and my body, but there's one thing a Saiyan always keeps! His pride! When Piccolo and Kami finally refuse into a single entity, it really is the peak of Piccolo's character development. I absolutely love the quote that he says to Mr. Popo after the fusion's complete. Goodbye, Kami. I'll miss you. Please be careful. No longer am I Kami or Piccolo. I am the Namek who has long since forgotten his name. I like Vegeta the most in the Namek and Frieza arcs. I just love how he continuously gets more powerful. After he gets the Zenkai boost from fighting the Ginyu Force, I love his battle against Jace. However, it isn't Vegeta who says this next quote. In fact, it's Jace himself. Vegeta! No! No! I am a huge fan of the Bruce Falconer score for Dragon Ball Z. I know some people like the original Japanese score, but I think the Bruce Falconer's music makes the tension so high in certain scenes. This is apparent when Supreme Kai tries to stop Goku from fighting Majin Vegeta. This is one of Goku's most badass moments in the entire series. Just watch this. Don't do this, Supreme Kai! Goku, I'm afraid I have no choice. Neither do I. <gasps> this scene is so absolutely powerful. Even Vegeta was shocked. I think the thing that's most amazing about this is it's one of the few moments that we see Goku incredibly serious. I absolutely love seeing this side of Goku, and I'd like to see it more. 
I wish Dragon Ball Super would have this kind of Goku hint, hint, hint. Fine. Do what you will. I can't stop you. I'm sorry, Supreme Kai. Yes. So am I. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. What? When this aired on Toonami, I was as shocked as Frieza in King Cold. And then this happened. Yeah! Seeing somebody cut Frieza in half was absolutely mind-blowing as a kid, especially because it was done so easily. But What's leave it to Goku to be a troll and outshine the person that just defeated Frieza. I absolutely love how Goku just doesn't even flinch when Trunks does this to him. Let's find out. Why didn't you try to avoid it? I searched your feelings, so I knew that you would stop. Throughout the entire series, Gohan has always been my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z, and this may be my favorite quote that he says in the entire series. It's just the pinnacle of badassery. So, Hotshot, you want to fight Majin Buu? Fight you? No, I want to kill you. Seriously though, why couldn't the Buu saga have ended with Gohan taking out Buu? That would have been amazing. Making a mistake, I'll make you dead. Honestly, there's no rhyme or reason to the order of these quotes in this video, but I knew this had to be in the top spot. I mean, when Vegeta knocked out Goku, I remember being so shocked and confused and angry at Vegeta. I thought he had changed. What the hell was going on? And then, Vegeta utters one of the most badass lines that I think his character says in the entire series. The score makes it even better. Just listen to how amazing this is. I'll take care of this boo myself. The last thing I need is for this clown to play hero again and dangle it over my head. We'll finish this fight when I return, Kakarot. Enjoy your sleep. And should your time run out before I'm done, <laughs> then we'll have to continue this another day. When I see you in hell, Thanks so much for watching, guys, and sharing some Dragon Ball Z goodness with me. I love this show so freaking much. I can't even articulate it. So I might do a couple more Dragon Ball Z videos off and on in the future. Uh, be sure to watch some of my other stuff. I've got a lot of video game stuff and top tens and from worst to best. So be sure to check out all my stuff and give me a like and subscribe and talk and let's get together. So uh, have a good one, guys. Thanks so much.